it's Emily and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, I just wanted to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Mondays, I post videos about my life with glaucoma. On Wednesdays, I post whatever video I want. And on Fridays, I post videos related to my faith. So if that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get to today's video. I want to explain to you guys how YouTube has helped my glaucoma. So the first way that it has helped is just through letting me know that I'm not alone in this. And for, you know, I was diagnosed when I was eight and I didn't start this channel until I was 19 or 20, I think. And so up until that point, I was the only person I knew who had childhood glaucoma. I was the only person um, who could really relate to what I was going through and it, it made me feel alone a lot of the time and this you know channel has shown me that I'm not alone that a lot of you guys have gone through um, a lot of the same feelings that I have when it comes to glaucoma a lot of you guys either have glaucoma or you know someone who has glaucoma and um, just reading your guys' comments and getting all the nice emails and messages like it has helped me feel so much less alone and I can't even express to you how much I appreciate that because um, you know even though like we all know in life you're never alone you're never going through something that no one else has gone through or at least most of the times that's true um, it still can be very isolating to be the only person who has you know a eye disease, let alone glaucoma, and um, so being able to read your guys' comments and stuff, like, it seriously has helped me so much. Like, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am for you guys, and, you know, the second way that YouTube has helped me deal with glaucoma is that it gave me a safe place to vent, to cry, to share the ups, the downs. Um, I'm actually not very open about my journey with glaucoma to my friends, to my family, um, I don't know. I just don't like to talk about it. It's hard for me to talk about it sometimes and you know, it's hard to process. Sometimes I don't even know how I feel about things and because of the fact that no one, you know, around me also has glaucoma, their responses aren't always exactly what I want to hear and um, I think they, like my family and friends, they're great so I'm not trying to say they're not um, and they do the best they can to understand and empathize with me. But sometimes, like, I don't want to hear, oh, but, you know, you're, you're strong, you'll get through this, it's okay. Like, sometimes I just want to cry and people to go, yeah, that sucks, that's really difficult. I can't even imagine how hard your life must be when you have to wake up every single day and adapt to a world that's not suited for you. And so, being able to come here, just turn on a camera, and just kind of process things has been therapeutic. It has been so... Um, so amazing and such a outlet that I didn't even know I needed um, and I just am so grateful that I found this way to process through this journey document my journey um, when I first made my dealing with glaucoma like the original video I didn't expect it to get the amount of views that it was going to get because again I had always felt so alone in it um, I made it mostly just for myself and you know, seeing the response was incredible and, you know, just finally being able to document, like, you know, when I made that video, I had better vision than I do now. I didn't anticipate my vision declining because it hadn't for, you know, 10, 12 years or something. And so being able to kind of see the process of me losing vision and having to cope with that has been... I didn't know I was going to need an outlet and I was just so grateful that I had one. And so the final way in which YouTube has helped me deal with glaucoma is it's just given me a new purpose um, in this glaucoma journey because now I feel like I have a place to kind of inspire people to just let them know they're not alone and kind of give back what I have gotten from, you know, you guys who have 
reached out to me and shown support, I feel like now I can be that support for you all. Um, I don't know what my vision will do in the future. I'm terrified actually of the future and anyone with glaucoma knows that there are days where you just want to give up and there are days where it doesn't seem worth it anymore to try to, you know, fight to be successful in a world that is just not suited for you and um, it's just very challenging and sometimes I just don't have the fight in me but knowing that I have, you know, this opportunity to make videos for you guys has really given me a new sense of purpose. It has given me a place where even in the bad times, I feel like I can almost like it's my responsibility to show you guys, you know, the good and the bad. And so instead of just sitting in misery when, you know, my vision declines or when I have an eye surgery, I feel like I can kind of document this process and this journey for anyone who might be going through it as well or will go through it in the future. And so it's just definitely given me a sense of purpose that I didn't expect. So in conclusion, like this YouTube channel has just helped me deal with glaucoma in a way that I was not even anticipating when I started this channel. I didn't think, you know, I'd be making a weekly video on my life with glaucoma because I didn't think anyone cared. I thought I was alone in this. And I was so, you know, pleasantly surprised to find the opposite. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for your, you know, watching and subscribing and kind of joining me on this journey because it isn't necessarily a happy one. It has its ups and downs, but it's real, it's real life. And you know, I'm just surprised at how many people are able to relate. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, start some conversation, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.